Now it's Berbatov. And it's Gerard. Good spot. No! And it's there! What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking a look at the cyborg himself, Dennis Law. This guy is absolutely broken and I'm going to show you why, especially with this build that we have got as well. It's just completely broken in my opinion. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're liking these videos, you're liking the content. Let's go. Alright, so if you guys were watching my stream the other day on Monday when Dennis Law was released, we did actually spin for OC and we got the trio of boys right if you want a Berbatov review and a Burkamp in-depth look at as well let me know but we did actually get Dennis Law on our own main account as well we got two 10-pack spins now I want to show you Dennis Law and I want to focus on a couple of bits and pieces don't worry we're going through this a bit fast here but I want to show you a couple of bits and pieces with him here most notably having long range curler on him and working towards giving him flip flap and of course double touch because he doesn't have those off the rip everything else is perfect and I'm going to break down this build very very easily first up 90 speed 97 acceleration look at the blitz of dennis law here just gone man and we'll show you another few clips towards the end of the video as well but these are his main attributes right i don't think that there's a player in the game at the moment that has run and gun and has the aerial ability also attacking awareness 98 99 depending on what manager that you're using anything over 95 is going to be insane for a goal poacher to get into the box on top of that you also have one of the best aerial threats in the game that is not going to be a big man and a bulky big man you can see the stats there insane and he can just finish from everywhere he also has really good acrobatic finishing now this is the build that we're looking at here right i already had this in an other video but this is the build that you're going to be going for with the champs depending on what style you're going to be playing depending on what manager that you're going to be playing it, it will vary a little bit whether he's 103 overall or 104 overall um, but agility plus one is the booster crafting double touch flip flap chip shot control gamesmanship and long range curl for his stats and his skills and then of course you just know what you're going to be getting with him boys it is just a deadly deadly finisher again a guy that's in the air is so good in the air and also able to run and gun he's not on the level of the likes of Messi, Saviola, Michael Owen but you know you don't really need that with Dennis Luck because he's just so unique and this card I definitely think it will be nerfed honestly you've got that huge attacking awareness you've got ball control dribbling and tight possession all over 85 which is insane 90 finishing 92 heading and of course you have the 90 speed 97 acceleration 99 jumping 85 balance and 94 stamina and this is what it's all about man pick and pop you can do it all with him right and also look at this right so he gets a little one touch go nearly scores it's probably a bad for me now, I want to watch and introduce you to LeBron James. Look at how, how, how high he gets up here now. This is insane, man. For a player that's only 175 CMs or around that, like, he's averaging kind of that run-and-gun build. You know, as I said, Mike alone, uh, Romario. They're in around that build, you know, Saviola, Boyan, um, that they brought out as well. But he also is just able to have this serious hang time and give you extra possessions. And it's not just for winning clean ball. It's about making it kind of, like, difficult for your opponent to defend against you he also is very very slick you've got that r3 flicks and the chip shot control which we gave him in the build and then of course as well this kind of sums him up right if what i'm talking about when we're playing with oc's build of him we're looking at him here he gets the ball in midfield and he is just gone baby gone ben affleck style it's just insane serious speed man serious serious pace and power and speed and then he has the finishing as well and this is another example stops dead is gone and then the finish is going to be absolutely insane as well now when we rewind that back you can see here that when we're running pace we've got drogba running pace with us as well but dennis law just puts down the burners man and then it's a right foot outside curler finish now we're going to do a couple of comparisons to clear off this video and just to have it as the most complete ultimate guide to dennis law this is his old version on the on the left um and or sorry his new version on the left his old version on the right we're also going to compare him to my favorite player in the game which is romario i think romario is still i don't use romario boys honestly man i don't use him he's a goal a game every game is a goal a game but dennis law is fast approaching that as well i still think romario is my favorite fox in the box but dennis law as a goal poacher is definitely probably the most fun to play with because you've got the blend of everything with him and also you know when you've got a player that's got 90 finishing 92 heading and 99 jumping it's insane for a player to be able to do this and he's also got the skills to back it up as well aerial superiority and heading as well as acrobatic finishing so for that reason i have to give him a rating of 9 out of 10 now we give Vieira in our last review a 10 out of 10 i think for dennis law i think he's very 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 much on the cusp of a nine and a half to a 10 out of 10 but i do think that there is that 
difference between, you know, if Vieira is going to be a 10, I do think that nobody else comes close to him, or I don't think anybody else comes close to Vieira. There are kind of 9 out of 10s, but I think Vieira is just ultimate. But let me know what you guys think a lot. I definitely think he'll be nerfed, honestly. But if you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.